Hey guys, this is Chandan Kumar from India and once again I am here with my new tutorial for Sigitrix Plus exclusively. And this time I will tell you about a very very useful and handy script which will certainly make your uh, workflow easy. This is related to the timeline and timeline navigation in 3ds Max. When you open 3ds Max, the default timeline range is set from uh, 0 to 100 frames and uh, if you want to go beyond 100 frames you open the time configuration tab and uh, you write your desired limit here let's say uh, 200 and then the length of the timeline becomes from um, 0 to 200 frames and you can uh, navigate only between 0 to 200 frames until you know the shortcut key to extend the timeline it's control plus alt plus dragging with a right mouse button and uh, hence you can go beyond the limit but for that uh, you have to keep this thing in your mind all the time and uh, sometimes it needs several clicks to be on the to be onto the desired frame which makes it a little bit cumbersome sometimes for some users but uh, the script I'm going to tell you about is a very easy to use thing uh, which lets you work like a charm on the timeline of 3ds Max the navigation on the timeline becomes uh, very easy and it comes with the several great features which I'll show you just now so I found this script in this website heavenlypictures.hu so click on max script menu here and you will find here extended timeline script just click on it it opens this page here you can uh, download the script just click on it and save this script in your hard drive since I've already downloaded the script so let's open the download folder so this is the script file open this notepad file it says drag and drop extended timeline 1.5.mzp to your max viewport so just do as it says drag and drop it to the max viewport I have already installed it so uh, even I click on reinstall um, it gets installed in less than a second now click on finish as soon as you click on finish you'll find this bar here this is the extended timeline bar right now the timeline length is up to 200 frames this is the starting endpoint and uh, you can stretch it in and you can navigate like this this is the out point and you can easily navigate the timeline like this you can set the timeline length from here say 1000 frames so this will go up to 1000 frames and uh, then you can easily go to any frame or uh, navigate the timeline very easily and smoothly it comes with several preset holders and buttons click on the last button and go to settings in general tab it says run as max startup turn it on and the extended timeline will appear every time whenever you will start 3ds max in control tab you have several shortcuts the maximum number of presets is uh, 5 you can't uh, have more than that but you can decrease it now it shows only two presets this is zoom spinners check this this is skin tab you can change the color of the skin I think the default skin is uh, good now let's talk about these five preset holders suppose you want to concentrate only between 0 to 50 frames set it from 0 to 50 frames first and then right click on the first preset holder button now it is set from 0 to 50 frames you can see it here okay for some reason I want to work between uh, 500 to 550 or uh, maybe 700 so 
500 to 700 for some reason uh, now I'll right click on the second preset holder and this is set to 500 to 700 frames and now I want uh, from 0 to 1000 so I'll set the timeline uh, frames and then uh, right click on the third preset holder just like this you can use up to five preset holders now if you want to see the selected frames between 0 to 50 just click on the first preset holder it will just take you there now if you want to see uh, between 500 to 700 just click on the second preset holder and it will take you there now if you want to see 0 to 1000 frames length just click on the third preset holder now suppose all the five preset holders are full and you want to use more then unfortunately you can't do it but you can override the existing preset with the new one see since this is from 0 to 50 and say you want to use uh, 0 to 800 so just right click on the old one and this is updated with 0 to 800 frame length now the first preset holder will show 0 to 800 and uh, the second shows the old 500 to 700 and the third shows 0 to 1000 frame length so this is how we can use it <coughs> so this is a very good script uh, for the timeline navigation and the great thing is that uh, this script is absolutely free to use however if you like the script uh, you can help the developer with donating an amount you like just click on this uh, donate button and it will take you to the PayPal payment page where you can uh, donate even a small amount of uh, five dollar to the developer of this uh, script there is no obligation in fact if you don't want to do it no problem at all but if you do it it will only encourage the developer to make some more useful and free scripts in future for us so a big thanks to the developer of this uh, script so guys I hope you have liked uh, this quick tip see you next time with a new tutorial this is Chandan Kumar from India for Cityjets Plus exclusively have a nice day bye bye